The review today is the Zectron folder. That is not your usual folding electric bike that you'll see around. We have a magnesium lightweight frame, no welds anywhere, and a shock that has the most travel I have seen in an electric folding bike. I like the thin front fork structure, beautiful lines, but the frame is quite wide, accommodating a huge battery, housing 23.2 amp hour, advertised 36.5 volts. And here's the cool part. If you look at the structure, you can see the mounting brackets on the frame. When I mentioned 22.3 amp hour battery, this is combined with the additional pack, each containing 11.6 amp hour capacity, with a total capacity of 846.8 watt hours which is huge and making this bike the biggest folder capacity i tested so far, advertising 240 kilometers in range. That's an insane 149 miles. We need to test that. And no welds, it's all held in screws. And uh, besides being very compact, we have here a rear shock and it's actually useful and it's so comfortable to ride. And look at this design completely different from any other bike I tested so far. We have a big screen, a lot of information, very nice uh, console here, very sleek, rubber grips, no hardware to secure it, so if you push hard they move, hydraulic brakes, nice action, and uh, regular 7-speed shifter, thumb throttle, and this is how the brakes look like. The cables are hidden inside, and what I like about this frame is that this shock has so much travel. Uh, this is not adjustable and we have a big, huge light in the back. That's actually acting like a rear brake light when you activate the brakes. Super cool. This model comes with 250 and 350 watt rear hub motor and the power feels limited to achieve longer range. Mag wheels look cool on this bike and reduces the hassle of adjustments in the long run. The bike looks apart from other folders I tested so far and it comes in a variety of color options. Top speed. For Europe, 250 watt will give you 25 km an hour top speed and for US, 350 watts, 32 km an hour or 20 miles an hour top speed. Unfortunately, I got the European version and I get maximum 15 miles an hour, but with aggressive riding, I managed to get close to 19, 20 miles an hour on flats. The US version will definitely go faster if you push harder. Range. Advertised 240 kilometers or 149 miles. This is really a lot for this size and for this battery. I rode in a city with maximum setting speed, we have five levels of assist on the screen and I covered between 12 to 19 miles top speed, always pedaling and I managed to cover between 35 to 40 miles in range on a single battery pack. Combined with additional pack I can get twice 80 miles in range. If I ride outside of the city on continuous bike path I can get 120 to 130 miles in range very close to advertised numbers and exceed that with a lighter rider. I weighed 210 pounds and I had another 10 pounds of gear in my backpack while testing. Temperature 65 degrees, felt a bit chilly. Acceleration feels fast for this e-bike size. If you pedal, it's engaging in less of the half of the turn the pedals, feels easy and comfortable to ride. On the throttle alone, the response is instant and acceleration is not boring. It's quite fun to ride this bike in the city. The torque is powerful from the start, intuitive and gradual. You get a good kick, but it's limited and dies down between 13 to 16 miles an hour. If you pedal and push harder, you can reach easily 18 to 20 miles an hour on the European version. Here's a shot of the lights and it's a very compact, tiny light. Lights up, a very nice patch in the front, decent, uh, actually more than decent for this size and uh, for this bike design. And I like the rear light, super bright and has this uh, o-ring shape and when you press the, the brakes, activates super nicely, extremely visible from far distance. The folding mechanism is quite different. If you look closely here, we have this button here, so you press and it's releasing the mechanism. So you have this piece here, when you press it opens up, and you can see the lever here, quite cool. We fold the seat, 
And if you look closely here, we have, again, a different mechanism. You have a safety button here, so you press, and this opens up. So you can see here this moving, and you have a second safety here. So when you press, it comes down. And then you fold the bike. And the battery. So it's not removable, and I don't like that, but uh, I like that the wires are running through inside the frame. So you can see here that all the wires here, the motor wires and the rear diode, they're running all the way inside for the frame, which I quite like. This is super nice. This is what I'm asking all other e-bike manufacturers to hide all the wires inside. And they're coming out right here for the stand, which is super cool. But let me show you how this bike folds. I like the foldability option. Very compact and doesn't take a lot of space if you have a small apartment or if you commute to the office very easily, very fast to, to fold and store it on the side. We have here a place where you can mount a front fender, also the rear fender. We have this uh, mount right here so you can put a plastic cover so you don't get splashed in the rain. We don't have any mountings anywhere around for a rear rack. You can get one of those aftermarket parts that actually connects to the seat post and have a rear rack. So that would be an option. And it's quite comfortable for my size. I'm 6'3", 210 pounds. I only wish we had a slightly longer seat post so I can stretch my, uh, my legs fully. But even uh, having this shorter seat post, it works quite well. And the suspension, it's amazing. This is one of the best suspensions I've tried so far on a folder bike, and uh, it's pretty tight. There's nothing moving left and right. It doesn't ratchet, it doesn't make any noise, so it's uh, pretty solid. I like this uh, rear arm transition and the color design, the sprocket, the pedals are metal, and uh, quite nice design. So I got the package an extra shock and this is rated 1600 pounds. I'm not sure how accurate these numbers are, but this is an option for heavy rider. So to replace it, it's quite easy. You have two bolts on the top and the bottom, you remove them and you can swap them. It takes you like less than a couple of minutes. And um, this will be an option on a website for heavy riders over 200 pounds, just in case if you like a stiffer ride and you want to replace them. The charger, uh, it's uh, quite big and it's fast. Uh, it's four amps charging speed, so uh, it will charge uh, the battery from empty to full. If you have two uh, batteries, about five to six hours. If it's a single battery, about 2.5 hours. The bike uh, weighs 55 pounds, so it's quite heavy for a small person. And uh, we have a big battery here, so we have a lot of range, and this is the longest range you buy compared to all other folders I tested, so it's expected to be heavier. Um, and uh, you can charge it once and ride it for several days, so that's a benefit for somebody who doesn't like to charge often and has a long commute. And the uh, maximum low capacity is 265 pounds, so it can do very well on a heavier person. Throughout the time, people ask me on the channel, what are the options for a folder, a compact folder that has extended range battery? I think Zectron covered this area. So guys, uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about this model. I think it's pretty comfortable, has a lot of range, good specs, especially the US version. So this was the review of the Zectron electric bike. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.